Well, I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Alright. Uh, I'm good. I've I've got my characters. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I just saw vacuum poop. <laughs> Dead Hoover. <laughs> Instant the poop position. <laughs> Beaver Man, Maple Man, and Canada. <laughs> are you missing Effie or something? No. <laughs> not, not at all. No? No. How dare you insinuate that? You don't miss Canadians. They don't exist. Oh, really? Uh, what, what, they Canada's more imagination? like a feeling that you get in yeah. when, you, when you're when you're with someone special, rather than Canada, uh, Canada, 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 Canadians. It's it's the same feeling that you have after a shit hoovering. You're like, was it even there in the first place? <laughs> the answer is no. The ghost of a turd. At Dyson, we've wanted to. Figure out how to suck the poop out of Anna. Come on, bird. Roll with it. No, I can't roll with Come it. Come on, bird. It's, tell it's me about square. the super poop. No, no, no. It's, tell me about the a super pooper cube scooper. I'm trying to roll down a, a hill. All right. Tell me about yeah. this Herodric uh, poop, poop, uh, heat pooponizer. Yeah. Stay a while. And, Ooh, rocket launcher. And you know, wipe my I ass. Stay a while, help me poop. I'm old. <laughs> I, you know what? I wanna, I want somebody to write like a convincing like a uh, story set in the Diablo universe. Why'd you close the door? Uh, no. where it's like somebody just gets the Roger Cube and just like, what weird shit can I do? And they just immediately poop <laughs> in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. It's the Haradra Cube! You can use it to 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 Haradricize everything in your dreams. And it's just like, oh man, what are we gonna put in here? A flagon of ale. <laughs> Adult diapers! <laughs> 20 pounds of hash brownies. Um that one chick from Diablo 3 who becomes Diablo 3. Uh okay. Just her. <laughs> and then you're just like, to transmute. <laughs> I like it how this guy did this big, like, stun thing. And he's stuck in the door. He's stuck in he's... a uh, smoke screen. Yeah, by well, the way, you can shoot him. You should be able to shoot him through no, the smoke can't. screen. It's, like, weird. Well, no, it's because he blinded us, so oh, we can't yeah. attack oh. anyway. Well, it worked out. It worked out really well. Yep. There's a lot of shit just flying out of everywhere. I'm okay with it. can't shoot, nobody gets to. I just kind of want to play a Diablo game that's like the Deckard Kane stories. <laughs> they and it's just like, stay actually. a while and listen. And then somebody's like, okay. And they actually do. And he's like, <laughs> really? You're... I didn't think anybody would do that. <laughs> like, I actually don't have anything to talk about. To ever say that. How are you? So, uh, turns out he doesn't have any stories. He's just no, he's some just attention. like... He's just, just like... <laughs> so lonely. caught off guard. <laughs> he's like, like, what? I you mean that you don't scroll. just want me to identify all of your shit for you? Wow! Like, yeah, I, got a, I got a scroll right here I can already use. Yeah. He's like, oh! Do you know how many things of identification I get on a given day? Comical <laughs> amounts. And he's like, oh. Well... Where does he get them from? But he doesn't go out exploring. It's like, it's he's he just that be... smart. Yeah. Decker Kane notes what everything is and who everybody so, is. <laughs> one of the Blizzard um, April Fools for Diablo Three was actually a new class, which was the Archivist, and it was Decker. Oh Kane. shit! Ah, real. It's poop. That was Poopy unexpected. Spooper stench. It's cancer. Like, Wait, can I eat? He, can I EMP him? I ha I can EMP him. Can I hack him? No, I can't hack him. Well, I'm moderately to incredibly You wouldn't get him out the door anyway. What are you gonna do with him? Um. Um. That's a damn good point. Throw him in the Harada cube. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this shit works. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. All right. I probably just picked up something that said regret on it. It's the Haradra Cube! This will be an extension of your backpack, because it has slightly more inventory slots. 
I will admit that's probably what I used it for more than actual item conversion. Oh yeah, that's what everyone used it for. NG. Oh. Uh, um, give me a second. We have one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got an NG the other day because I was like, hey, let's try this class out because I have two assaults and that seems Ooh, silly. It's pretty cool. I like the engineer class. Yeah, I have I have two little assault drones following me around. Mm -hmm. uh, as do one of your guys' purple. I yeah, yeah, it's looks my like... weapons. Oh, His weapons your... spawn drones when he shoots them sometimes. I'm kind of jealous, actually. That, that'd be cool. So my medic gets Wait, assault drones. Hold on, is there, um... is there a chest in this room? Or, or oh yeah, it's a... one of the it's one of these back switches. Damn oh. it, you closed the door on me. Yeah. Yeah, I picked up a common flamethrower. I'm getting some weird desync here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm noticing a little bit of net cap and net lag. Uh Can you, you get your dude in the elevator? Um He's afraid of them now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there they go. Look, he, I mean, we we kind of made our case for why elevators are actually just straight up Satan. And yeah. Purple washed his hands of the elevators. I did. Who do you think would win in a fight? Deckard Kane or Jim Raynor? Jim Raynor? <sighs> uh, really? Yeah. Depends what equipment Okay, no, no, no. Here's thing. the thing. Uh, Jim Raynor on his own with just a gun? Probably not. Jim Rayner yeah, right. with the with the the Marine. vulture, or I was gonna or say his Jim battleship. Like yeah, yeah. okay, Decker Kane's gonna <laughs> die if there's a if it's fighting a, a battle just, cruiser. Just squishes him. Yeah, Not even doesn't even shoot his gun. Just like land it on him. <laughs> you just see the shadow go over Decker Kane's face, and he's like, uh oh. Not again. I want to see one of those like <laughs> dumb mashup games where like the star <laughs> all heroes, heroes of the storm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, but like, if if fr from Heroes of the Storm, somebody like just drags like heroes Jim Rayner in a battleship. Well, <laughs> I, I I always like those dumb mashup stories where there's just like, so you've got this fantasy environment. Then let's send in like the army, and it's just like this is nuts just, and I'm just stupid. Picturing, like, Deckard Kane, uh, Jim Rayner's battleship slash fiction now. Um, <laughs> the, the battleship, not anybody on board. No, no, Jim Rayner, not Jim Rayner. Oh, not Deckard Admiral Kane, Admiral Akbar, Starcraft Two E, Stu uh, Stukov, April. or yep. Mensk or anything like that. Just, just Oops, Deckard Kane. Couple not drones. They're not just, coming with us anymore. Just Deckard Kane, totally naked. <laughs> Sticking his willy willy who in a exhaust port. <laughs> Ew! Exhaust port, you perv. Well, yeah. I don't want, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. There's only one woman for uh, for Jim Rayner, and that's Kerrigan. So clearly his uh, clearly his battle cruiser would be would identify as a a, a dude Dirk. ship. Can you just imagine there being like this really awkward, like infested Kerrigan, like um, uh, masthead, which is coming off of uh, Ew. Rain Rainer's battleship? Spiky dreadlocks. Everybody's just like, dude, oh, yeah. why? And he's <laughs> like, I love her. <laughs> and Tosh is like, I am into this, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with this. Tosh was the one that did it. Rainer didn't even ask. <laughs> yeah. He's like, God, I have I a good gift for you, man. Rainer just looks I outside and he's just anymore. like... Oh, it's because he fucked with the door. <laughs> Not me. Happen. Ooh, Happens. That's, an, that's yeah. a nice axe. I like how I how many it. enemies in this game... Oh wait, this guy's hackable. Ooh. Hack him. I did, I don't know what it did. Uh, it made him easy he's to not shoot. doing much. Yeah, it, it made him comically easy to kill. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna disintegrate some stuff. Woo. You said disintegrate, not explode. No, I'm, I'm the exploding. That's, yeah, I, that's I, I, I'm the one loaded with grenade. I'm part the, of the one reason, who explodes. Part of the reason why I didn't care so much about Bird, um... Not having Bird's crazy grenade is I just upped my uh, overload shot, the like basic uh, marine uh -huh. skill. So it, yep. it just is a grenade. It does like s thousands of damage. It's beautiful. Yeah, the grenades are awesome, aren't they? 
I like explosions. What was the game that had really satisfying grenades? Um, honestly, Half Life Two. Yeah, yeah, Half Life Two is pretty good. That game had very good grenades. Yeah, well, it, big ass map. it was also one of the first games that had like ragdolls, really, which That's made true. a huge difference. I actually quite like the Quake Two grenades because they made this satisfying clink noise as they bounced. Oh, um. Mm. I actually really liked the grenades in Halo. Plasma grenades oh, were yeah, the, the best. Oh yeah, the Halo grenades were amazing. Like the alien grenades were awesome. Yeah, plasma grenades were super yeah. nice. I got so good at being like, uh, like sticking people with those grenades. Just guessing how they would move and just being like, blunk. Yeah, I uh, we would do land parties every once in a while. I just set it to grenades only. Because I couldn't aim for shit. Oh man! But I was great <laughs> at lobbing grenades at people. Mm -hmm. Wow! I'm I think it was like grenades, rocket land. launchers, grenade launchers, the whole nine explosions. Rocket grenades, grenade launchers. And then everybody got like really pissy about it and started practicing. And then I was like, "Well, this has become no longer fun." Are we killing Cyborg Mom? Oh, Cyborg Minion, that's what it is. And Damn, those guys account. are in everything, aren't they? What, Minions? Yeah. Well, it's a franchise now. Can't go anywhere without merchandising them. Did that guy just heal? Yeah, they're, they're healing themselves. It's actually really super frustrating. I don't know how they're bit. doing it. Also, my science is uncountably fast right now. For some yeah, reason. it's going like crazy because we're on uh, we're on the shit. higher level yeah, things. Amazing. Yeah. So Ooh. like everything that we pick up for research is worth tons ah. in comparison to what it used to be, and so now it's just like. <laughs> I was noticing that earlier, and it was I was down. Yeah. Too much loot. Yeah, I, I've already disintegrated enough stuff that I need to. I picked up enough stuff I need to disintegrate again. I'm getting Borderlands loot style yeah. overload right now. At least it's much easier to pick up and manage, though. Yeah. Like, I True. enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy Borderlands, Borderlands you to some shit degree. In, at, in your menu at any given yeah. time. With how much stuff you end up getting, always. Oh, there's a uh, full loot chest in here, by the way. Like this, this enemy that I'm killing just went mal mal, so I think I'm killing Shell. Ah, don't do. <laughs> she won't appreciate it. Probably not. It just dies. It's like meow. She passive. She will passive aggressively refuse to cook you dinner. Oh. <laughs> Make angry faces at you from the other room. <laughs> Where's this loot chest? It's between oh, the yeah, two server decks. Yeah, that. you should have the items for it. I think I oh, used there's mine another one already. Oh, oh, maybe you guys already got. I don't know. Yeah, I, I uh, thought I already used mine to get the fuel. Well, yeah, I used mine okay. to get some as well. Well, okay. that's fine. It's not like it really matters. <laughs> now I get to see how much science I'm actually gaining. It should be amusing. Yeah, I'm curious to see like how big that number be. Science lab! Oh no, no item research. research. 220 rupees. Uh, identify all. all right. That definitely, uh. Quashed it a my... little. Disintegrate yeah. all? Yes, done. Oh wow, um. Have some fuel. Thank you. And some matter. My inventory is so full. Oh god. And some more fuel. Oh, jeez, that's a bit. lot of fuel. Holy crap. Yeah. How do I send a uh, fuel? Uh, just, just right-click right it. it from your inventory. Yeah. Oh, we, uh, it's shared fuel? Yes. Uh, since I'm the one flying, it just all goes into my stock. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, now you're getting lots of fuel. Mm. Yeah, I've got like 169. That's, that's <laughs> awful. Oh, so much loot to sort. I, I don't even so much loot sort that much. I'm just like, is it green or lower? Yes? Salvage. Yeah, is I'm like, I keep the blues and the purples. 
I'm just salvaging oh. all two-handed ranged weapons as well. It'd be nice not if you could uh, also sort for like melee and otherwise, because like yeah. I do not use melee weapons, so I'd be I'd be pretty I down. Do. I use melee weapons with my um, vanguard, or what are yep. these guys? Yeah, the vanguards. Yeah, the vanguards. I, I, I have them use melee weapons. Okay. Alright, I think I've cleared out some space. So... Huh. Vanguard tool, shield generator. Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if I'm done with this. Identify remix. all. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> this remix? No, this remix ain't great. I found a gunblade. Does it? That's Final Fantasy. Yeah. yeah. It's a one handed bullet weapon. I don't <laughs> know if it's melee or not. Sounds like something from Warframe. <laughs> a little bit. Do, 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 so, a couple years ago, I played, like, a random Ludum Dare game just to say, like, hey, this would be fun. Oh, yeah, I heard you talk about that. And then they just sent me a game the other day. It's like, we really liked your Ludum Dare, like, playthrough of our dumb Ludum Dare game. Here's a game now, and I'm like, huh? All right. Thank that's, you. That's pretty funny. Was it good? Uh, I, I actually can't play it yet. Uh, the unfortunate part is, uh... They're like, yeah, you can play whatever, and then I look at it and it's like, cannot be installed till Friday, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So much for that. Well, yeah. I mean, they tried. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal. Right. Ionizing multi-bot of per perforation. Oh, that's that's cool, but it's an engineer tool. Hmm. Let's see. Engineer tool, engineer tool, Vanguard tool. I haven't upgraded these in a long time. Oh, Jesus. Hmm? One of my Vanguard tools is a level one tool. Okay. I guess I never gave them a better thing. Aren't you done, bird? You know... It's so easy to be sarcastic, Purple. It is. It's very easy. That's why I do it. Why disintegrate all button also does not appear to work? It only disintegrates uh like the two lowest tiers. Ew. Okay. Which is absolutely pointless. Ooh, hello. What are you? You are a really, really shitty helmet. For an epic. The market Wait. looks better selection by five items. Hold on. You can uh you can infect dual wield somehow. Really? really? I, yeah, I'm looking. Okay, uh, I'm gonna read this out loud. Uh, dual wielding weapons have 10% increased chance to hit and critically hit marine targets. So maybe it's like specific types of weapons that you dual wield. Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. No clue. I've yeah. just found. An artifact weapon. Okay. Okay. Darling Plague, artifact level one handed melee weapon. 1197 DPS, plus 108 critical damage, plus 20 strength, plus 300 corrosion. Damn. That's pretty cool sounding. <laughs> I'll be using that then, yeah? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Research one minor tech for intergalactic medical emblem? The hell does that mean? I'm trying to figure out the, 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 the tier system is a little bit strange sometimes. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, really, I really you just uh, need to so, the only thing the tier system matters is, uh, your tech level. Everything else is meaningless. Oh, oh. I need- I see. I need a- Ah, got it, got it. Now. 
So, uh, according to chat, you can put uh, your offhand weapon into a tool slot. Okay. So, um... So, All right, I, if you want to have, like, a dual-wielding guy. I wonder if you could dual-wield, uh... melee weapons, then. That's an interesting... Right. I don't know. So, Purple, what's your favorite uh, Shakespearean sonnet? Um... Don't know, actually. Don't know? Nah. Uh, I like Sonnet uh, 87 myself. Really? Yeah. Which play is that from? Uh, they're not from plays. He, what, he just has a book of sonnets? Yes. Yeah. Actually. He, yeah. <laughs> like, not trolling, he, had, he has like 120 sonnets, I believe, that are just, like, there. Dang. And I thought reading his books was boring. <laughs> Damn. No, that, that's a bit unfair. Not all of his stories were terrible. Just all right, uh, queue up. Actually, now okay. I think about it. Oh, apparently Marines can dual wield melee weapons. Huh. That's cool. That's interesting. Think about it, the only one of his books that I actually had to read that I really hated was Romeo and Juliet. That Romeo and Juliet pretty was pretty lame. lame, yeah. 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 The rest of them, not so bad. The, the only one I, uh, uh, hmm? Go ahead. Well, there was a Leonardo DiCaprio movie that was a pretty good adaption of it. But oh, like, the one that was about, like, oh, so on, on, pseudo we'll modern? In a second. Yeah. Larocco Garrist Matt. I think I got that one. Ghost man, I think. Go yes! for it. My partners for taking prisoner! Find the rest of them! Alright. Oh, thanks! Can we, like, yeah, you can see, uh, murder up, him? Oh, no. What this was guy. that? That was voice acting. The guy with the red katana, he's the one with the artifact level weapon. Damn. Dude, you should have him dual wield. Um, I would, but I disenchant another weapon. You'll get another one. But yeah, the Leonardo DiCaprio adaption was amazing. Didn't they speak in verse the whole time too? Yeah, they did. Like it yeah. was, it was legit. It was also, really, speaking really of legit, good. this thing is ridiculous. Is yeah, big. this thing, the Arbiter. He's got pauldrons on top of his pauldrons, on top of his pauldrons, on top of his like weird. Scabby Didn't work out great for him, admittedly, mess. but like, yeah. Yep. They also did a. Um, Martial arts movie adaption called Romeo Must Die on Jet Lee. That sounds actually completely fucking stupid. <laughs> it it sounds stupid, film. but if it's Jet Lee, it sounds like it would actually be really enjoyable to watch. It sounds like much. you would watch it and be like, this is so dumb, but I oh, the, can't yeah. look away. Ignoring the story, Kung Fu was great. I'm yeah. sure it was. I'm actually That's kind of usually how Kung Fu movies are. I have not seen a good, like, Kung Fu movie in a while. Yeah, we all miss uh, Rush Hour 2. Hmm. I like, I uh... I yeah, really enjoyed... This just chilling out here. Well, he's dead well now. he was, yeah. Then he died. Horribly. I but sounded like, like Meatwad from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, oh, that, kind that of? Make... Yeah, kind of. But like a wetter Meatwad. Blah, blah, blah. Disturbing implications. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the prisoners dealt with. Oh, Jesus ah! crap! Oh, what it, the. What it, the, the devourer! From? It's dead. It's, it is dead. Well, just like real life, turns out moths are actually gigantic pushovers. <laughs> Who knew? Humanity I'm... 1, moths 0. Again. Except for during your Dark Souls Let's Play. That was a pretty... That moth thing completely ruined my shit. And then I, I fought did. again, and I was like, this is the easiest boss I've ever fought it in is. my life. You can even summon an NPC that kills it for you, which is beautiful. Yeah, it, what? Is that, that moth is like the stupidest, easiest thing. Lesser Cyborg. Or mm, Lesser nice Cyborg. Lester the Lesser Cyborg. Hey, this elevator goes up. What the fuck? That's different. That's a new one. 
Yeah, but it's it, not that. It's also down. the bondage statues or whatever they are, holding the up and down buttons. Look, you sound like a mix of Meatball and Golem to me. <laughs> oh my god, are you trolling? It's Meatwad and Golem. <laughs> that's that's horrible. Meatball and Golem. <laughs> I, I like that. somebody to make a crossover between Meatball and Golem. Where it's like this, it's like like a cheap Chinese, like unlicensed version. Of Pokemon. Well, it sounds yeah. like it. Meatball Wait, no, Golem and Golem Creep Up on Dragon would be the name of the movie. You know, I want to I wanna see that as like a, a toy line or something like that. <laughs> yeah, like, like the Sense oh God. of Right Alliance. Yeah, when we were in uh, Croatia, they like every once in a while we'd like bop into a store w with like children's toys in it, and it would just be the most inane, like janky wrong nonsense you could ask for. Like, oh yeah, there's a okay. Have you guys ever seen the Thomas the Tank Engine like uh uh combo mech, whatever it is? Like, um, no. you know how like combo mech. Well, you know how like the Power Rangers, uh, they're. Their yeah, yeah, Zord, the Megazord. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. so it was like that, made out of Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That actually sounds pretty cool. It was it cool, but it was also it. like 50 bucks and huge, and I was just like, I really don't want to try and like get this home to the US, because it's probably going to get busted. weird. I know it was great. Uh, I was somebody in my group like, bought it. Like, introducing everyone's favorite, uh, favorite... Favorite characters from a, from the Eastern Bloc, Fjord und Klapperfeld. And it's like Tom and Jerry, but way <laughs> creepier. <laughs> Could like, like, like Fjord und Klapperfeld punk out the, the, the bread line. They're trying to, like, extol the virtues of socialism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God, what was the era where they were doing all the damn political cartoons? It's like uh, the 40s, 60s. The war. 40s, mean, 60s. 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Well, no, there's yeah. a certain <laughs> there's kind of a certain point where they're like, okay, no more propaganda, and so they kind of slowed their roll a little bit. Well, no, it's more like anti-war propaganda, where they just went with, like, kind of 60s era love and peace. Uh, the cartoons were, like, full of nudity and terrible cutscenes of bomber planes. Oh. It's like brain yeah, I mean crap. that would that would definitely be late sixties, early seventies. Yeah. Yeah. Or even into the eighties. With like certain things like uh Korean War and whatnot. Hmm. Doors on crapper felt outsmart. Because it keeps recommending them in my man. YouTube videos for some reason. But the recommendation system is I feel bollocks. like there should be a boss room or something, right? Like yeah. One What's thing I'm kind of disappointed about is the top there. In the bottom, uh, top right. Yeah. No, it's or... just in the top middle above this Wait. doorway. Is that uh, you... I don't think so. If you By the way, there's. Up, does, we can... is the, is the game's broken. Eh? If you look up, the sky ends and then it becomes black. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. That's um. Uh... Little yeah. bit. Yeah. We have done a whole fifty-one percent. Which oh, this, is a, this is a huge, huge level. Yeah, I'm actually kind of disappointed they haven't had like big boss rooms to like run around and like yeah. take cover. Yeah, and... I mean the procedural generation is reasonably solid, but I feel like it needs to generate more of like mini bosses or something. Well, it has plenty just, like, of these mini tough bosses, guys, but like <laughs> that guy was a mass of random body parts. That was weird. Yeah, he's also dead, so I'm okay with it. But it was weird. He was a mass of random body parts. Mm -hmm. He still is, just not necessarily connected to each other. Uh, you know, I remember watching the trailer for this and seeing some actual boss bosses. Yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of, like, big ones. I think maybe they're connected to actual, like, story missions. Because mm, there like is, like, a distinctive the... story. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? I bet that one guy, uh, with the... Uh, the service. The service team. I bet uh, he's a uh, legit boss fight. Whenever we find him. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Well, it would, it would make sense, considering, you know, he's a boss mm -hmm. we've seen before. 
Hmm, true. Communist Decker Kane <laughs> would be like, like, stay a while and help build Mother farmland. <laughs> stay a while in socialism. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a dirty commie bastard, what with like. Well, uh, he identified everything I, for free. Identified for you. items for free. Well, no, only if you did some. What was the What was the thing that you had to do that he would identify? You had to go to free. Tristram and find like his oh. dead guy's friend's leg or something like that. Yeah, no, no, had... it wasn't Wurt's leg. I think it was. Oh no, his, no, 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 uh, no! Oh, no, you if... rescued him from Tristram. Trist yeah, Tristram. and if you didn't rescue him from Tristram, he'd actually uh, show up in the next chapter, or, like slightly later, or something like that. Oh, and not identify right, yeah. things for free for you for the rest of the game. That's right. I kind of remember that there was like a way to actually not. Yeah, one of my him. friends never got to Tristram because it was actually a side mission, oh, and he was complaining really? about how so much it cost weird. to identify things or how much of pain it was. And I was just like, "What are you talking about?" Also, we yeah. missed a room that we're gonna have to go up and around for. Oh Ooh. damn it! Wait, There's no, no, no. Never mind. Up. It's a story. Uh, There's a staircase there. I didn't see the lever. I, okay, got, I was worried for a hot second. Decker Kane the pervert would be like, How come I can't get any action in this rogue camp? They're all women. I'm the only dude around here. I'd just be Master Roshi. I that don't think that would be. I don't <laughs> think that's. Well, that's verging very close to. Decker Kane, the misogynist. At that age, well, does it matter? <laughs> I was gonna say he was 80 years old in med in medieval times. I don't think people had high expectations of him for for nuanced opinions on gender equality. That says to be fair, I'm not entirely sure if society even really existed in the Diablo universe. <laughs> Like, I think after a certain point, Tyrael probably should have just been like, ah, eh, there's not really anybody left anyway. Yeah, basically. He was like, I'm here to save humanity. Well, it's you see, they, they 14 the people the that world. are living in the desert. They hint at the rest of the world having, like, societies, because there's, like... I mean, the sorcerers all come from some magical school somewhere. The monks come from somewhere. The bar Well, we see the barbarian city finally after it's ruined. Alright, Moth Boy, we, we we killed your cousin, it's fine. Oh my god, he's gonna kill one of my people! Uh, what's with ah. the giant grasshopper on the mushroom? Look! I won't worry about it. No, because that doesn't look anything like a boss. Uh, it's actually not, we've already fought one of these guys. It's a mushroom lord. They're, they're I can actually, see that. Yeah, watch this. It's dead! Wow. It's the guru. What's he doing? Guruing. Apparently. Bird, I got the Mead Wad Golem Photoshop ready. How do I send it to you? Have we made it? Wander, have we have we have we actually made it? That's kind of worrying. To where people Whoa. are doing like I think we've made it, man. We're getting people there. are making fan art of our shit. That isn't just like, you know, really bad MS paint of like our avatars like doing each other. <laughs> There's a lot of that, by the way. There uh, is so much Rule 34 of Wander and myself. It's kind of cooled down like, in the actually? past couple of months. But, like, there was a I've time never when gone, it was, like, I've daily never gone that looking I'd get for Rule that. 34. See, the weird part is I never did. It was all you. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I actually got quite a bit of it, actually. I like how, like, kind of jolly these fireflies are up here. They're just like, ah, oh, we're just gonna light the way. Oh god, you're murdering me! <laughs> There's a whole second compound over here. It's well, smaller. It's, probably it's much smaller. smaller. Oh, god, We've already... We're, we're, yeah, we're, it's fine. We're, we're fighting the guy from one one kick. One kick, dude. No, 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 no. Too late. One kick! Okay, I'm gonna... One kick! I'm just gonna blind the shit out of him. That works. One kick man would just be Pele. <laughs> I want to see just that new risen from the dead. I, I want to see aliens. I want to see them do like one episode where everything's just like slightly backwards. So like the uh, the cyborg sidekick is actually a robot Venus. that's trying to be human. 
He's one, he's <laughs> one kick, man. Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Actually, uh, I don't know if you've been keeping up with My Hero Academy. Yes. No. Yes. I watched one episode and thought that the main character was so frustratingly annoying that I couldn't actually get into it. I almost mm. would say reading the manga is probably easier because he's yes. still kind mm. of frustrating, but the but pace you can skip is. It quicker. <laughs> yeah. I will say that the humor in that series is quite delightful, though. Oh, it's mm. it's always super good. One hundred percent. Holy crap! That was that was huge. an endurance run. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, I thought the last one had a lot of loot. Mm hmm. One, uh, one, one Punch Man guy, he gets like, he get, he gets like a talking animal sidekick. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for the whole episode that doesn't say anything until the very end. And he just says something like, got any food? And then the episode <laughs> ends. <laughs> I'm fine with that. He's just like, a, he's just smoking for the entire episode. But you said talking animal sidekick, right? Yeah, talking animals can smoke. Well, they do if you set them on fire. Yeah, this is true. This picture of being like a horse that's just, just reading the newspaper and like helps, it's like pays half of his rent too. <laughs> that I can picture actually. I'm glad that I don't write for this anime. <laughs> I think everyone is probably glad, because they're like, this is the fucking stupidest idea you've ever expressed, Bird. It's up there. It certainly is. Not the worst idea you've ever had, though. No, well, to be fair. What is your worst idea ever? Is it... Yeah, I want to know. I want to know what my worst idea ever is, according to Purple Phantom. Um... Now you've given me a real head scratcher of a quandary. I'd actually have to sit there and figure that out. We well, got time. <sighs> Not that much time. <laughs> yeah, it either Damn means that you can't come up with any, or you've come up with so many that you're like, Christ, how do we sort this pile? No, I can't think of anything so monumental it actually tops the others. You, everything just kind of at the level. There's just a sea of shallow disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's what it's like seeing like the Earl Sea or something like that. <laughs> shallow and disappointing. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, wow, I don't really know what I was expecting. <laughs> Come visit glorious Earl Sea World. <laughs> oh, the, well. the endangered leech leech hole. Mmm, tasty. Come dine on our fresh squid tentacles. <laughs> Enjoy our traditional rock and oyster stew. Mmm, delicious. I got a whole bunch of new cool weapons from that. Oh, what I got? I didn't really get much. I got goodies. I'm still IDing mine. Oh, there it goes. I just finished IDing all my shit. Oh, I got Ooh, the thing I, that uh, makes uh, IDing stuff. Oh, I can't, same here. Uh, one it's a two-handed, so I can't I can't equip it on my guys because it's too heavy. Chance to spawn a guard drone, electric burst, and stun. Yeah, this two-handed weapon would be equipable on my. Wow, I can't equip it either. It is very very heavy. It also deals four thousand damage per shot. Ouch. Damn. A little bit. Oh, well, actually, my vanguards can carry it. Have this guy use it then. Plus uh, 1,100 corrosion damage. Damn. Yeah, some of these some of these weapons are starting to get really high up there. A little bit. Oh, 
I'm pretty okay with it, though. Okay, uh, shall we go swing by a, uh... Merchant? Yeah. I just disintegrated everything that I own. Oh. Well. We still can, I guess. We're really close to one, so we might as well. Hey. Oh, up, jumping the jump. shark. Hey, hey. daddy -os. Okay, you, you got it. You landed a turn for the 94th Quadra Kings. We'll be trucking to your pad to collect the toll. Ooh. We're being extorted? Apparently. Kick their asses. It's funny, because... Nobody charges me a fee <laughs> except for the government. And banks. And libraries when I don't turn in the things. But that's still the government. It's funny, because I called my party Tunnel Snakes Rule. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I never... <laughs> Fuckle yo... Couch futon bed thing. <laughs> so where um, are these guys? Oh, um, this isn't your ship, it's, is it? It's Gadar. Yeah, they're Hi, on my Gadar. ship. We get up oh, there. They uh, are. Oh my oh god! god. Even got a quiff. I was gonna say they look like they're uh, part of the Leningrad Cowboys. Thank you. Thank you, Tank Man. Focus on the guy with the giant, horrible axe. <laughs> 50s guy. They're not even named. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's... What should we call this enemy? I don't know. 50s guy. I like it how our bar is, like, totally untouched. Yeah, well, I mean, they're happening. I like how there's even a floating Game have Boy in our bar. Somewhere. Hey, yeah, true. look. The 90s are back, I guess. So I don't see the floating Game Boy. He's, uh, he's above the band. He's a floating Game Boy. I just, I see a dude singing. I don't see a Game Boy. It looks like a Game Boy to me. Okay. Oh, you have like uh, armored turrets in this room? That's cool. Yeah, I, I randomly saw one for like 500. I'm like, yeah, might as well buy that. There's no reason why mm -hmm. not to really. There is no reason to have this gun because it takes like Ooh, three wow. seconds to shoot. But and what's only the does damage? four thousand damage. Ooh. Is this sniper rifle? Any chance? Yeah. But it's not on the sniper character, I guess. I need to get rid Going of that. Going down. Dang! This is actually really cool looking. This is really cool looking. <laughs> that was so slick. Yeah, the elevator's just like whoop! I, I'm glad wow, this game that, actually that has like awesome. some level of like a Z uh, a Z axis. Yeah. Even though you would really like. It's a little really, bit of like, 2.5D. E. Yeah. Which is like two and a half men, but <sighs> way better. Love the fact that they tried what the to hell? just like. Oh, oh, loot donkey. Loot yeah, donkey. one of these is on your ship. I don't know. Hang on, fifties guy. We have to kill this small animal. Okay, I've closed the door on the loot donkey. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna take out the minions first then. I don't know if loot donkeys disappear or can operate doors, so I'm gonna focus on killing it. We do a lot more damage than we used to, which is a good sign. Yeah. I'm getting so many epic drops now. Don't know if well, it's because... I... Fair... Hmm? Fair point. I've had it on max difficulty for a while now. Or not max, Ooh. but like high. We're done, by the way. Yeah. All so, right, let's teleport back to the ship from the ship. On yep. the yes. Ship. Makes Look, sense to me. It's important. We must save the... Uh, Something. Uh, Go on, bud. You can do it. I'm, I'm not... I'm, I don't know. I'm too tired to, to, to bird it. Oh. I can only kind of bird it. <sighs> Disappointment. Have some more fuel. Yay. Wow, I have a lot of fuel. <laughs> a little bit. 
Reflective plot Cosmo plate with uh, reflexo booster. Exceptionally, he oh, exceptional heavy armor. I thought it's an exceptionally heavy armor. Like this armor is real heavy. All right, let's. Uh, aren't we at? Aren't we at like a marketplace? Uh, yeah, we're we're right. Uh, we, I think we're on our way. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go to it because I need to buy a. Uh, New melee weapon to replace this uh, sniper rifle I have on this character because it's horrible. Uh, let me get over there. Yeah, we're almost there. There we are. Now, now we're gonna mark it. Okay. So much stuff to sell. All right, weapons, 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 weapons. It'd be really nice if you could queue things up for selling instead of disintegrating them. Yeah, really. Kind of like in, uh... Couldn't you do that in Shadow Shadow Warrior? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah you could tag things in your inventory, say, this is junk, this is junk, and then go to the shop and just sell them. Yeah, that was, that was a nice feature, I, I like oh, that. Oh yeah, you're right, I kind of remember that being the case. Unfortunately for me, whenever I tried using it, it would, um... The game would shit the bed on me, and I was not happy. Yeah. Oh, well, it wasn't exactly hard to get that game to shit itself. No. This is true. Although, they have done a lot of stability patching. Oh, that's good, because it needed those very badly. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, if only could somebody could stability patch my emotional state. <laughs> oh, bird. Oh, what? hey! Uh, they have a merchant room. A what? A merchant room hmm. that I can oh, buy. Oh, in the market for the yeah. ship. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it will. Um, I it makes it so we can always have a merchant at all times. Oh. Yeah, 